Well, it's, it's always nice to get new faces. You know, we've young Shea, and who's had a good second half of the season at Accrington, scored 11, 12 goals. Um, you know, we, we have players missing. You know, we have five of the squad from France, for example, on available to us. Two of those in the striking areas. So, you know, Shea's in the situation where he's been playing, he's been scoring. Um, and he did very well with us last week. We had him in training with us in Manchester. I like what I saw him, and, and we kept him in. And the same with Adam Thompson, who's come in from Southend, a, a young centre back who played a number of years ago under Nigel. And um, you know, we, at that time he was a Watford player. He's, he's now rebuilding his career at Southend. And uh, you know, as, as I say, we're a little bit stretched in terms of resource, but um, an opportunity for the two lads that you mentioned. You know, what do you say about there being a lack of forward options with Connor and Jamie both out? Obviously, Liam Boyce has been doing well so far this season. So, what have you thought of him this year? Liam's been great. You know, we've watched Liam consistently myself. Jimmy Nicholl, I've watched him on a regular basis. We know all about him, having both of us being based in Scotland. And what Liam's done this year is basically have a, a, a sustained season. You know, he tended to have two good half seasons the previous two years. But this season, he's been strong all season. Again, I think his fitness has gone up another level. He's played a number of positions as well, but to score the number of goals, he's to finish as the top goal scorer in, in, in Scottish League football with, you know, in a team with all due respect who've been in the bottom half of the table uh, is a huge achievement. And he's rightly, uh, you know, receiving a lot of attention. I think Liam has a lot of admirers both in Scotland and, and, and south of the border. And, you know, I will hopefully now, if he's given the chance, he can take his club form on the international stage. And New Zealand on Friday night, how important is it as always to be playing in front of a full house here at the stadium? It, it's great, you know, as I say, the experience of playing here in the stadium and has been fabulous for the players since uh, uh, the, the, the stadium has been obviously rebuilt and redeveloped. You know, they've had a positive experience, I think, nearly in every game. Great crowds, great atmosphere, and we want the same again. You know, this will be a game where the priority is about you know, preparation and fitness. Of course, we want to win the game as well. But there'll be some new faces probably in the team on Friday night um, as we prepare for the game in Azerbaijan on June the 10th. And uh, I think it may be the start of some international careers on Friday night as well.